Hello everyone, this is tutorial number 9, Configuring Microtik Router as Wireless IP. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about configuring Microtik Router as Wireless IP. So first you need to check your Microtik Router model if it has the ability to work as Wireless IP. So you better check your router model with wireless feature on it before you purchase. Before we configure wireless IP, we need to configure basic settings like IP address on interface, gateway and net service. As we have wired connection already, so we will configure IP on bridge interface, not on the physical interface. So that our Wi-Fi network and wired network, both network will work as single network. Create DCP server and hand out IP address from bridge interface. How to create DCP server? We have showed it in our previous video. Go and check it. Okay, we can call it as bridged access point configuration. When you open your router, you will see your WLAN 1 interface is disabled by default. So you just have to enable it. Click on the WLAN 1 and then click this button to enable the enable your WLAN interface. Now create a bridge group. Then add both your Ethernet port and your wireless interface to the bridge group. We have already showed it in our previous video. You can go and check it if you didn't see it. Interface. We have created a bridge LAN and Ether 4 and WLAN we have added in the bridge interface group and we have assigned IP address on our bridge interface you can see and we have handed over our DCP address from our bridge interface Okay, after you're done with basic settings, now simply configure wireless interface. Click on the wireless. Double click on the WLAN 1. Click on the wireless tab. Now from here, select AP Bridge as wireless mode. Select the best channel for your users as well as set up the band that you wish to operate in or just leave it as default. Then create a SSID that you wish to use. This SSID will appear on user's laptop or their mobile phone. Default SSID is microtik but you can change it. Put a name for your SSID for home you can use anything but for office you need to put a name that is relevant to your office like your office name and the floor 1F first floor 2F second floor things like that so as I'm setting for my home so I will just put any name I want Labyrinth. That's my SSID. Now click apply. Okay. The last thing you should do is to set up a security profile inside your wireless interface if you wish to have security on your wireless network. So just click on security profile. Create new one, don't use the default. So click on plus sign to add new one put a name for your new profile password profile. put any name you want now just check on the WPA2 PSK and Unica ciphers group servers leave it as default WPA2 pre-shared key here's the password that your user need to connect to your Wi-Fi network Put a password here for your user. Putting mine. 
this password you will provide to your user to connect your Wi-Fi network and click apply and then ok now go back to Wi-Fi interface tab double click on WLAN 1 look for the security profile here and select password profile that you have created just now that's it we have configured MicroTik router as well as SAP you can check from your laptop if your website is broadcasting to your user you can see that our SID broadcasting to our user I hope you learned how to configure micro router as well as happy thanks for watching